Here we go. We're rolling, man. <laughs> right okay, on. Thanks, thanks for being on Fab TV, bro. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Um, <laughs> appreciate it. Hey, has your life changed ever since you were on uh, Kimmel Live? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. That's like life changing for sure. Um, yeah. So, oh man, I don't know. it's such a long story, dude. But uh, no, no, like I went from. How did it happen? You're you're in line. They interview you. So let me. So take a hit of your Mac. Your Mac gas there. Yeah, this is the Mac gas. <laughs> courtesy of common citizen <laughs> but uh so man dude uh so like oh man it goes pardon me i think i just lost power to my uh my headset i'm so sorry no worries there we go okay yeah so it goes back farther than that like you know uh <laughs> i was staying at my parents house um i was unemployed like my most recent job was a janitor at a, at a factory um, which sucks ass, <laughs> but, uh, then, um, you know, I had the opportunity to go to this dispensary, uh, the relief center. Um, and that all came about because I was actually at my sister's house drinking the night before, uh, <laughs> woke up on her couch and her boyfriend at the time was like, Freddie, you want to go to the relief center? And I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> I was like, and he's like it's a dispensary it's open up it's grand opening i was like dude let's do it yeah man so we went over there and um like on the way he was like dude we can be on the news and he didn't want anything to do with the news but me personally <laughs> i've always wanted to be on the news like i love those like viral you know news fails um anytime somebody does something funny on the news it just stuff always gets me but uh, I never thought it would lead to the Jimmy Kimmel live show. Like, I don't know. Um, I still have a hard time believing I was actually on the show. <laughs> I don't know. How I watched your episode like three times. I think you're a natural. You're awesome. You know, um, you a little bit of Wayne's world, kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah. you're yeah. ordinary. You're, you're, the, you're, you're, you're awesome. I want to fly you out to California, man. And show you around and film with you. Hey, <laughs> uh, only on one stipulation. My, I, I got a, I got a, a ten-year-old nephew, and he wants to go out to Hollywood. <laughs> you do. No. You get all the best dispensaries. Oh, dude! Oh, yeah, it's a dream come true, man. You know, it's crazy because it just happened in Michigan, but like, literally, like, okay, like two years to going on the Jimmy Kimmel show. You know, like. Uh, I've been arrested with marijuana on me. Um, you know, I got pulled over and it was like for a, a bad license plate, but you know, um, they took my three and a half grams. Uh, <laughs> but it's crazy though. It's like ludicrous, you know, because like now that it's legal, um, I mean, like I was going home to smoke weed and watch cartoons and go to bed. <laughs> I don't know what I thought I was going to do with all that weed, like sell it or something or, you know, like whatever you were keeping it so did you finish that dracula series oh yeah dude yeah oh i actually i really like the new dracula series yeah have you had a chance to check it out no no i know that you were into it so that's why i'm asking you if it was it good did you check it out oh it's cool because i'm a, well, I'm a huge fan of dracula um i've read the book and uh i'm like a huge fan of the old hammer horror films with christopher lee uh I have no idea if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but um, uh, anyways, they're old 70s Dracula films. I like Dracula and uh, Netflix did a really cool job. Whoever wrote that, and I, I don't remember who wrote it, but um, they did a really cool job of a, of a retelling of Dracula. Like for instance, um, Van Helsing. Van Helsing is actually a nun in the, in the newer series. She's a nun who works at a monastery and she is the, you know, arch nemesis of Lord Dracula, <laughs> Vladimir. Um, yeah, it's great, man. And then, like, it even does a bit where, like, oh, I don't want to spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. I just want to see how you, you thought. So, hey, so what are the latest um, uh, cool edibles out there right now? Oh, well, you know, you're in California, so I'm not going to lie. Um, we've got some pretty basic chocolate bars, some good, really good Michigan fudge. Honestly, the fudge is probably where it's at in Michigan. Other than that, you know, 
um, a lot of our product that we have, I'm pretty sure is just like uh, standard, you know, edibles. We don't have like, like I've heard that like, you know, in other places you can get like Rice Krispie treats that, you know, like, like 500 milligrams of THC. And uh, for the most part, you're going to have to, I don't know, um, in Michigan specifically, all of the edibles on the recreational side are 100 milligram edibles. So you could definitely eat a whole chocolate bar blast on. <laughs> but um ooh, yeah so does california, is california have good dispensaries or good edibles are they known for it um i think that the best edibles are home-baked knows how to make them because then you're not getting no manufactured stuff man you know, especially if you use like some hash oil. <laughs> You're a pro, man. That's why you got a job. Uh, you know, yeah. Canna Vista? Canna Vista, yeah. Well, it's Canna Vista Wellness. Okay. Um, I like to say hasta la Canna Vista. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Are you still an ambassador or like a, like a representative? Yeah. I think now more so than ever. <laughs> how's, your, how's your new pad my new pad oh man well you know there is a little misconception there and i'm uh i'm known for my for my uh for my genuine character so true to my genuine character um i did move out of my parents house moved out of my mom's house got a job up in michigan in buchanan at cannabis wellness uh, i work at a dispensary now but um it's a little deceiving. I'm actually staying at my sister's house. Ah, <laughs> uh, lied. <laughs> yeah. It's still up. You're paying rent? Right. But uh, for real, though, I am getting an apartment like this month, which is pretty exciting, man. Um, if you're anything like me and you stayed with your parents until you're 29, you can imagine the possibilities. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. Voting your own apartment. <laughs> I got a question from one of my from one of my callers here. He's saying, "What are some of who makes the best eye drops?" <laughs> oh shoot! Um, well, Visine, man, dude, you remember that guy, man? Like, dude, he he had that giant eyeball, and like he just dumped that stuff remember on that? there. Remember that? Yeah, it clear up automatically, or was that? That was clear eyes, wasn't it? My bad. Clear eyes. Yeah. Clear eyes. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. Relevant. <laughs> clear eyes or Bosch and Loam or who makes the best one? Oh, I don't ever mess with that stuff, man. Okay, I okay. just walk around like this all day. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else, man? Um, so what's next for you? What's, uh, has anyone invited you to come do some some more TV or – some other kind of commercials or anything? Uh, no, not quite yet. I'll be honest. Um, no commercials. Honestly, man, that's a lot of stuff. Like that was, I feel like that was going to happen last year, but then, uh, the pandemic happened. Uh, so for right now, we're just kind of chilling out at the dispensary. Oh shoot, man. Okay. So, um, this is big news. Uh, my boss actually bought me a website. I now am the proud owner of freddymiller.org. <laughs> wow. we, we couldn't get freddymiller.com because somebody was trying to sell it for $5,000. <laughs> Squatters. So, do it, man. I probably could have sold it for $5,000 if I wanted. But <laughs> uh, freddymiller.org sounds better. It's kind of, yeah, well, it's a little, uh, it's different, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's got right now, you know, it's in the works. Um, if you go there, you can see a couple of the interviews I've done and stuff. And that's about it. Hopefully we can get like some, um, I'm trying to get merchandise. Uh, I feel like, um, man, it's kind of crazy to say this, but I don't feel like a celebrity like all the time ever <laughs> for the most part existing right yeah thank you yeah, yeah. On the cover of a magazine yeah <laughs> right it's beyond me <laughs> see uh, i choose to i choose to go with my higher self not my ego Ooh. but basically means staying stone <laughs> <laughs> you're funny as hell man. you're fun i think you're hilarious yeah. you're fun to talk to but well, thanks man oh uh 
you know. <laughs> I want to know one thing. I want to know one thing. What's something else that you do? What else do you do? Do you go on walks? Do you play any sports? Uh, what else do you do? Ooh, so a day in the life of Freddie Miller, um, or at least a day off in the life of Freddie Miller. <laughs> uh, recently, you know, I've been getting into exercise. Um, yeah, I, I'm turning 30 this year, and so I got a gym membership. Uh, and it's really helpful with, like, combating, like, winter depression. I know out in California, I don't know if winter depression is a thing out there. <laughs> but but here in Michigan, it gets really cold and really dark. <laughs> um, so I started, doing, you know, going to the gym. Uh, I've been running, like, a mile, like, every morning, um, which is huge because, you know, if you haven't done that in a long time, it's a lot harder than you think. <laughs> Uh, good. That's really good. You're doing that mile. You're not doing that mile while you're smoking, right? <laughs> oh, I smoked before. Yeah. My morning routine, I smoke a sativa in the morning. Um, I'll get up in the morning at like 545. I turn a coffee pot on and then I smoke and then I go into the shower. <laughs> and then I, by the time I, oh yeah, I got my tunes playing, man. I like to listen to African funk in the morning. Check, give yourself, do yourself a favor. Check out Fela Kuti, uh, African funk from the seventies, man. It's just perfect. But, uh, <laughs> Fela Kuti, uh, he's sick. But, um, dude, by the time I get done with my shower though, I'm all cleaned up and I'm like literally flying out of the shower, like into the kitchen for my cup of coffee. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. You know, it's not for everybody, but the cannabis lifestyle, I guess I'm learning to appreciate it now that um, I work here, you know, I work for it, you know. Right. right. Um, I never thought I'd say this, but I actually do smoke weed for a living now. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, kids. This stuff comes true <laughs> sometimes. Right, right. That's funny, man. Well, you're cool as hell. I think you're totally just in your own space. You don't care what anybody thinks and... And you just do your own thing. I love it. I love your style. That's why I wanted to talk to you so bad. Hey, you know, it, I feel like as long as you're a good person, you know, and deep down inside, you know, you can't let anybody judge you, you know. That's just like water under the bridge. You know, we're all deep down inside. We're all just human. <laughs> that's we like. Are. I, we are. <laughs> that's so, you know, you, you just, I have no expectations most of the time. <laughs> all right bro let's keep in touch i meant what i said i'm gonna fly you out and your nephew and um, i just want you to show me around la some i i don't go to dispensary so I may, I, maybe you could teach us something on camera you really want to fly me out hold on <laughs> i mean what i say always man i've never been out to california before oh, I've never bro <laughs> Dude, in fact, that's one of the ways I think I'm going to die. <laughs> what? What? I have a feeling oh. that like, I get on an airplane is the one time that, like, it ends up in, like, a fucking desert island somewhere. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Safe in, uh, flying is one of the safest things you can do. Trust me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not like cool. traffic that'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> or I got to go, but... uh. So awesome talking to you, and I was, it's more the power, too. I'll talk to you. We're going to do part two here in L.A. On, we'll hit some buses and some dispensaries, and I'll show you around. I think you're, I think you're an awesome person. And, oh, man, that sounds like a dream come true, dude. Like I was just saying, you got to be careful what you wish for. <laughs> we'll go visit Jimmy, too. Oh, Hey, I think I would love to meet him in person. I think he thinks likewise too, you know. He um, loves you. I love I, you. I don't know why he plucked me out of the crowd other than maybe we both share a connection where we just laugh at stupid shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but hey, brother, dude, it's been super solid. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you, bro. You're the best. Thank you. I'll talk to you <laughs> in touch, okay? Yeah. Keep it real, man. For sure. Thank <laughs> you. Ciao. Yeah. Ciao. <laughs> I don't know why I got ciao. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, Don.